our Savior Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, you are indeed welcome into this house. Today's scripture will be from John's 15, NIV version. And Jesus said, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my commands of my Father and remain in his love, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that you may have joy with my be my command. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, that my Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. I have just read John's 15, verses 7 through 12, 16 and 17, in its entirety. These words are truly blessed. So let these words be a blessing to the reader, the hearer, and the doers of his word. Good day, and God bless. Most eternal God, the God that has been God from generation unto generation, Lord, we come before your throne boldly. Heavenly Father, we ask that you forgive us for all our unrighteousness, whether we realize it or not. Lord, we thank you this day that you decided to let us live one more time to give you the praise and the glory. Father, some hearts are heavy. Some minds are confused. But I heard that you was a mind regulator. Lord, I give you the praise because not what you can do for us, but just for who you are. For you're God and God all by yourself. Heavenly Father, we pray for all the ones that are sick and shut Father, as we see that, it involves all of us. Father, whether we're black, white, brown, Jew, Gentile, Arab, Muslim, we find ourselves all in the same boat down in the valley. God, we thank you because no matter where we are, you are there. You said that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, that we are in the valley. Father, we give you the praise and say thank you, Lord. We thank you that in, in the valley there's joy. In the valley there's peace. Lord, thank you, Heavenly Father, for making sense of a senseless world, Heavenly Father. The world seems as if it's upside down. It is all going according to your plan. Heavenly Father, there are special needs and issues that one needs all on Zoom, Heavenly Father. We thank you once again for that technology. We thank you that you're in Hawaii, you're in Russia, you're in China, you're all over the world answering prayers right now. God, we need you. We need you more and more and more, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, the caregivers, 
finding themselves, they have to be careful too. You are mighty and merciful and holy God. Lord, I thank you for your word. That's why we are standing on your promise. And we are only assisting on your word. Thank you, God, that you didn't leave us defenseless. Hallelujah. Rather, you left your Holy Spirit that lacks you nothing. Thank you, God, that we have come this Sunday to bring the service out, that it will help somebody with a bottom down here, that it will help somebody that's lost in this world. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for all of those that are involved, the musicians, the ladies, the cameras, and all, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, whatever that needs are, you are a God that, that can supply all of our needs. Lord, we ask all this in the name of Jesus.
say yes to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
Amen. 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 Another day. And we made it. God kept us here. Yes, he did. And we made it. And I'm glad about that. I don't, I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I'm still on top of the ground and not up under the ground. That's right. I'm happy to be in the house of the Lord on this evening. Yes. Amen. Giving honor to God. Amen. Giving honor to Pastor Dennis. Amen. Anybody happy to be alive today? Amen. 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 Real quick, we're going to go to Joshua, first chapter, and we're going to look at 5th through the 11th verse. Joshua 1, 5 through 11. And we're going to get on out your way, and we're going to enjoy the word of the Lord. Because I made it. Yeah. Boom. I can get lost right there. Another day's journey. Yeah. Yeah. Joshua, first chapter. Fifth verse reads, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage, for until this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant mm, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, Mm, that thou may prosper whither so thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy uh, way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Anybody want to have good success? Now he first says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host and command the people, saying, Prepare your victuals, for within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan to go in and possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. Real quick, we want to talk and say, uh, just, just air five your neighbor and say, to be continued. To be continued. To be continued. In the film industry, you all know, uh, the, this is probably where you first heard these three words put into this phrase where it says, to be uh, continue and the purpose of that is so that you'll come back in a couple of days or you'll come back next week and you will look at whatever the show is and most of the time it's a television show and it's been on the radio show also and it said to be continued. Amen. My earthly father, the late Reverend Oscar Rucker, uh, he used to watch a television show after he uh, retired and then he watched a television show and the television show came on at 11 o'clock uh, every day and every day at 10.58 we was headed into the house no matter what we were doing uh, because he wanted to see Young and the Restless and, uh, and uh, he fell in love with Mrs. Chancellor. I, I don't know why. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't ask. I was just enjoying the break from outside in the fields and cutting the grass and morning. I, you know, I, I just want to make sure that I had a break. It didn't bother me, but at 11.58, 11.57, 11 11.58, he would raise up out of his chair, glad, grab his glass of water, and he would say to be continued. My mama, I used to watch shows with my mama, and my mama used to watch Sanford and Son. 
and 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 this particular segment, Sam and his son, uh, uh, they was over in Hawaii, and they were supposed to be going to a junk convention. Yeah. And Fred and, and and was trying to get his way back to the U.S. And when he was on his way back to the U.S., the guys that was after him, they wanted to smuggle some diamonds back to back to the U.S. And 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 at the bottom of the screen, at the end of the allocated time, it was thirty minutes. At the end of the allocated time, it said to be continued. Yeah, yeah. So and when, when I remember watching uh, when the, some of my favorite shows today do the same thing, and 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 we watch them and we we look at because you know once we start looking, I'd be like, well, what's Candace gonna do this week, or or what's what? what I'm I'm just trying to figure out how, how she. How she gonna get out of this thing? That, and we'll watch uh, 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 some of our favorite shows in the evening. Some of our favorite shows, and I, and they do the same thing to us. And 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 without putting the words at the bottom of the screen, they still say to be continued. Don't go to sleep on me, y'all. Real real quick. If we go through, uh, uh, when when I look at uh, the definition of the phrase to be continued, uh, it tells me it's used at the end of part of a story, a television show, movie, etc., to tell people that the story has not finished yet. If we go through and look in the, in the Word of God and we find over 100 parables, at the end of each parable, Jesus drops us off. He drops us off and he, and, and he, because he don't tell the entire story, he just tells parts. Of the story, you, you, you don't believe me? Go, go, go and look at what happened to the to, to the to the woman with the issue of blood. Well, how did the rest of her life end up? You you don't know because he just dropped you off. He healed her. She was healed, and then she went on about her. And then what happens there? The prodigal son, he came back, and his dad. What, what did his dad do? He threw him a, a big party and had his, his brother go get the fatted fatted fattest of the cows. And, and get the medicine so we can have a big party, throw a nice robe on him. And then what happened? You, you don't know because he dropped you off. And he's saying to be continuing. Yeah. What did God do us in our, in our daily lives today? Uh, he, he, he gives us uh, new grace daily. And he's saying to be continuing. By waking us up every day, he's saying to be Content, and giving us activities of our life. We take that for granted sometimes, but he's saying to be content by keeping a roof over our head. You know, he already, he already blessed us with a roof over our head. He keeps it over a roof over our head. And he's saying to be, by keeping food on our table, oh, come on somebody, by keeping food on our table, he's saying to be continued by giving us health and strength. Yeah, even through this pandemic and through COVID, he is saying, to be continued. Why is he saying to be continued? Because your entire story hasn't ended yet. All right. We just said another day's journey. Yeah, yeah the, the, the journey yesterday had already been told, but we done made it another day's journey. Yeah. And God is still saying to be continued. In our text, in our text, we're gonna we're gonna look at our text real quick in our text today. During this period, the people in Joshua was continuing uh, to Canaan. To the promised land, and God is encouraging Joshua, who is called the new general. You know, he's the new general. Now that he's new general, he wants to encourage him to let him know. I, I want to let you know uh, 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 that his presence and his promises are to be continued. So in verse 5, God says, uh, God says, Not any man may be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. That, that should have, that should, somebody just got excited right there. Here is the continued assurance as I was with Moses. Now, now, now we all know who Moses was, right? We, we, we know who Moses, that mighty man, he had a, a mighty man and power and authority. The relationship between God and Moses is unexplainable and unbelievable. And, and, and some of the things that Moses did, he had to have the courage to understand that God is who he say he is. God goes on to give Joshua three promises. I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor will I forsake thee. Yeah. Yes, Lord. He goes on to be uh, say to be strong and of good courage. The only way Joshua was going to have the uh, the strength and the courage to stand as the people's general was that he had to have confidence that God was with him. I'm here to remind you uh, uh, today: whatever comes your way, or whoever comes your way, God will fight your battles. 
Because his promise is he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will be there to counsel and advise. He will be there to guide and direct. He will be there to protect and defend. He will be there to prosper and succeed. I also want to remind you that continued promises of God are bigger than a promised land. Don't get it mixed up your house. You, you can have a nice house and not have God. You, you got to have God and you can have a nice car and not have God. You, you can have a nice, a nice job, a nice income coming in and not have God. Now, the, the bigger of that is God is bigger than all of those. Just like we know that God is bigger than COVID. Yeah. God is bigger than this election that's getting ready to happen for us. Oh, I'm, by, I'm, I'm by myself. I'm by myself. I, I understand. I understand. Do according to the law. Stay in his word and stand on him. When we do according to his will, then we will have to be, we will have the to be continued coverage, uh, coverage because the presence of the Lord is always there. And he will make thy way prosperous. Don't get tangled up with just thinking prosperity is about money. You can have prosperity and love. You can have prosperity and peace. You can have prosperity and joy. I'm, I'm just excited right there. I'm, I'm going I'm uh, yes. to be continued uh, or his promises and leave him not till he had made an entire quest into the land of Cain. And furthermore, even not to the end of his days. This is also true of Christ. I'm going to my seat. This is also true in Christ's uh, his, uh, humiliation. Jesus was betrayed by a friend and he was arrested and Jesus was tortured and Jesus was spat on and God says to be continued on his way to the cross. I'm going to the cross. In his suffering, he was brutally and unnecessarily beaten, whipped, mocked, and crowned with thorns and God still says to be continued. He was sentenced to death. He was forced, yeah, he was forced to carry his cross, his own cross that they hung him on. He was forced to carry his own cross before they executed him. Uh, he died on that Friday, but I'm so glad the story wasn't finished yet. So God still says yeah. to be, continue, even in the grave. The promise of God is there and the presence of God is there and also uh, God says to be. Continue. So on that third day morning, y'all know what happened. Jesus rose. And why? Because God says to be continued. Love for our peoples to be continued. Joy for my people to be continued. Strength for my people. Amen. To be Amen. continued. Amen. 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 Glory be to God this morning. Amen. Glory be to God this morning. Amen. 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 We thank God for that quick word, and we thank God for being here on tonight. This is part of our worship service where we extend, we normally extend with our open arms, and we will walk down the aisle, and we will say, we want you to come and be part of this to be continued praise. Be part of this to, to be continued worship services. And we thank God we open the doors of our church. We are here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Amen. You can come by the church. You can also contact one of our deacons, amen, and we will invite you in, we will, uh, we will accept you in into the house of worship, into the house of Metropolitan Missionary Baptist Church, where our pastor, amen, is Reverend Leonard D. Dennis, amen. We thank God for you today, and we ask, you, we ask God to continue to be a blessing in your lives, amen. Morning, Metropolitan. Morning. Offering time. We just want to thank God that He has allowed us to continue to give our tithes and our offerings each and every Sunday. No matter how hard we try, we can never be God's gift. You can give your offering, your gigabyte, you can drive along at the church, you can mail it to 5300 Helen. Jenny, Missouri, 63136. If you have any questions about the beautify, you can call the church. 314-389-5005. Someone will be here Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 to 2. If you have any questions, nobody here to leave a message. Someone will call you back. Father, Lord in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you.
that you can continue to bring your blessings down upon us each and every day during this troubled time. Well, Lord, we thank that you have allowed us to continue cheerfully and gladly give our tithes and offerings that we may build our storehouse. Lord, we ask that this blessing be used for the continual spiritual improvement of this church. We ask that you allow us to use our offerings Continue to help this community that is built to improve and to better their lives. And bless the eyes and every thumbs in Jesus. Amen. 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 We thank God for being here on today and we ask everyone to stand. We just need to keep the pressure. We're going to get on that. Every head bow. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, oh God, for bringing us together. We thank you, God, for all that you have done for us on this week. God, you blessed us day in and day out. And we just want to say thank you, God. God, as we go another week, we ask that you go with us. You straighten out our, our crooked paths, oh God. And we ask, oh God, that you continue to strengthen all our sick and our shut-in, oh God. God, continue to bless our pastor. Amen. Continue to bless the First Lady, oh God. Continue to bless everyone that is under my sound of my weak voice, God. And we ask you, oh God, to continue to love us and continue to give us the strength, oh God, to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.